Valina, the tower is in danger. I need to speak to Archmage Cedridor. I'm sorry, Ariane. The Archmage was clear. Maybe if you told me why, I could pass on a message. I can't explain. Listen, if the Archmage can't see me, perhaps I could speak to Wizard Eleron. I'm sorry, Ariane. You are barred from entering the tower for any reason. This is none of your business, outsider. No, wait, I recognize you. You're the adventurer Zen you mentioned. Will you help me again? I'm the wizard Ariane. Ahem. I'm sorry, just Ariane. I'm a former tower wizard. I'm an adventurer now, based out of the Champions Guild. Could you take a message to Archmage Cedridor for me? Depending on how he reacts, I may need your help with other things. Thank you. Just go to Archmage Cedridor and... Wait, no. Too late. There's something happening. Oh. Help! Do something! Get that thing away from me! Come on, my message can wait. Let's see what's happening. <laughs> Cast airstrike at the vortex. Draw it into the power beam. Grab Boren's mind spike. Strike at the vortex, tore it into the power beam. Adventure. Talk to me again outside the tower if you still want to help. I can't. 
can't believe Cedridor would set up a ward to keep me out. I didn't realize he saw me as that dangerous. That's what I want to find out. I know the tower is in danger, but I don't know the details. I'm a seer. I have... premonitions, sometimes. Flashes of information. Emotional impressions, nothing precise. Lately, I've been having visions of the tower in flames. But I don't know any details and I can't prove anything. I came here to investigate, and now I find I can't get into the building. People talk about wizards having a gift for magic, but the first thing you're told when you join the wizard's tower is that it's not true. Magic isn't handed down by gods or random chance. Anyone can learn it if they put in the effort. But being a seer runs in families. It's not something I worked for. When I told the other wizards about it, they resented me. I tried to use my magic to understand and control my ability. My goal was to integrate it into magical theory so I could teach it to other wizards. But I ended up being expelled from the tower. I need you to go into the tower for me. Talk to the wizards and find out what's happening in there. Archmage Cedridor is the head of the tower, so you should talk to him. I think Wizard Eleron might help as well. He was my mentor while I was there. You should talk to the other wizards as well. Ask if they've seen anything unusual lately. One of them must have seen something that'll help us. Thank you for saving me from that thing. Please keep my mind spike as a reward. It was horrible. It felt like it radiated evil power. And you saw what color it was? Red. The color of a Samarak. It was red wizards who burned down the tower a hundred years ago. This could be another Zamorakian plot to destroy us. You've got to do something. Can I do anything for you? I'm sure there's been something strange happening with the power beam lately. The beam acts as an anchor for all our teleportation spells. So, as a teleportation specialist, I'm sensitive to any fluctuations. Archmage Cedridor is aware of the problem. Perhaps you should ask him what he's doing about it. It's good to see you again. I passed my apprenticeship. I'm a wizard now. I'm studying stun and bind spells. If I get into a fight again, I want to be able to disable enemies without killing them, like you did with those cultists. No, I did hear the commotion in the library earlier, though. I'm glad you're here. If there is something wrong, I'm sure you and the senior wizards will be able to get to the bottom of it. Hello, can I 
help you? I heard that commotion in the library earlier. I assumed it was Wizard Boran jumping at shadows again. I'm not sure he's cut out for the uh, stressful life of an academic library. My, my, my beads! Where are my beads? I think Wizard Greyzag's imps have been moving my notes around. I, I, I can't find the section I, I was working on yesterday. Why don't you ask Wizard Treyborg? He, he loves telling people about things he's seen. Not now. I'm trying to concentrate on a very difficult spell. Only Wizard Mizgog's beads turning up all over the floor. I should send my imps to hide them before someone trips over them. Why don't you go and bother Wizard Trayborn instead? That old duffer is always seeing things. Young singing me what? I've seen them in the power beam, you know, uh, singing me what? What? No, not singing me what? Don't be ridiculous. They wouldn't fit. It was a sort of swirly, sparkly thing. Didn't you know? This tower was built on the ruins of an old tower. That's where it came from, the swirly thing. I saw it come up through the floor of the library. Welcome, adventurer, to the world-renowned Wizard's Tower. How can I help you? Yes, I'm aware of that. Wizard Valina told me she was here. You can tell Ariane that her concerns have been noted. I'm preparing to deal with the anomalies in the Power Beam, so there's no cause for concern. I'm preparing an Icenic Purge. It'll send a surge of energy through the Power Beam, which should overpower whatever creatures have managed to enter it. You know what she did, don't you? Wizard Ariane was our most promising student. She could have been Archmage someday. I overlooked her gallivanting off as an adventurer. Everyone's reckless in their youth. But I can't allow a demon worshipper in the tower. The tower has had strict rules against Zamarakian wizards for the last hundred years, and I have to apply that, even to her. Have you learnt anything from the wizards in the tower?
So what did you learn? What he means is he's going to flood the tower with magic without knowing what he's dealing with. It might work, but I want to be sure. We should find out more. I spoke to the demon, spoke to it, but there's no middle ground with said at all. Step outside the line and you're a red wizard. Through the library floor? But that means it was something from the old tower. Good idea, but I still want to hear what Cedridor and Eleron have to say. Could you go back inside and talk to them? What can I do for you on this glorious day, adventurer? Are her premonitions still troubling her? I feared as much. Please let her know that I take her seriously, even if no one else does. I will do everything I can to convince Archmage Cedridor to take action. When I took Ariane on as my apprentice, she asked me to help her suppress her premonitions. She didn't want to stand out because of a natural gift. She wanted to stand out, if at all, by the work she put in. I told her that that was admirable, but it would be wrong to turn down an advantage the gods had given her. I helped her to harness her gift, to refine it, and to Zamorak with what the other wizards thought. With hindsight, it shouldn't have surprised me when Cedridor expelled her just for using every source of knowledge at her disposal. Welcome, adventurer, to the world-renowned Yes, I'm aware of that. Wizard, you can tell Ariane that her concerns have been noted. I'm preparing to deal with the anomalies in the power beam, so there's no cause for concern. I can see that there is some evidence that she has premonitions, but unless she can give me more specific information, there's really nothing I can do. Have you spoken to Cedridor and Eleron? So what did you learn? He's the only tower wizard who was sympathetic. He convinced me to work on them, rather than suppress them. But that doesn't help us with the problem. We need to find out what these water seas are. 
What he means is he's going to flood the tower with magic without knowing what he's dealing with. It might work, but I want to be sure. We should find out more. Can I do anything for you? Hello, a young singer. I've seen them in the power beam, you know. Uh, I like to look at the power beam sometimes. There are so many things we see every day, but never look at, aren't there? Or oh, look at every day, but never see. I see things in there. Thingamy watts. No one else sees them. <laughs> they think I'm mad. Didn't you know? This tower... That's where it came from. The swirly thing. I saw it come up through the floor of the library. Have you spoken to Cedridor and Eleron? So what did you learn? He's the only tower wizard who was sympathetic. He convinced me to work on them, rather than suppress them. But that doesn't help us with the problem. We need to find out what these vortices are. I spoke to the demon, spoke to it, but there's no middle. What he means is he's going to flood the tower with magic without... Through the library floor. This tower is built on the ruins of an older one. I do know it happened just after the wizards. The surface part of the old tower was destroyed by the fire, and the new tower was built on the same place but the underground levels of the old town. Good idea. It's not going to be easy, though. Archmage Perry and Seal with the lower levels. There's a rumor that the door can be opened using the Water Surge spell, but many wizards have tried casting that spell on the door and failed. It's more like... Could you go back into the tower and find the key? I think Wizard Eleron will help us if we... Can I do anything for you?
What can I do for you on this glorious day, adventurer? Alas, even senior tower wizards aren't allowed into the ruins. I certainly couldn't tell the secret to a disgraced ex-wizard and an outsider, however much I might privately want to help you. Ariane is a brilliant mage, but she has never mastered the subtleties of human interaction. The oath I swore to the tower prevents me from helping you. No one except Archmage Cedridor is allowed to know the secret of entry to the ruins. Naturally, I've heard the rumors. Many young wizards have wasted runes casting water surge on the door to no effect. A few, however, have speculated that the key might lie not in casting that spell, but in understanding. It was the Archmage Perian, first Archmage of the New Tower, who sealed the lower levels. He had an idiosyncratic understanding of magic and its relationship to other arts. Perian had the pipe organ installed in the library, and he wrote a treatise on the relationship between magic and music. That's a good idea. I hope you find something interesting. All right. If you must play the organ, at least keep to the top manual. It's quietest. Not even Archmage said. It's been here since the tower was rebuilt. I think the first Archmage was a little eccentric in his architectural preferences.
have you made any progress with getting the key to the old tower? The key to the old tower? Who knows what's down there? There could be knowledge that's been lost for a hundred years. I just hope it's well preserved. It would be terrible for knowledge to be lost forever. The entrance is on the east side of the island. Come on. Come on, open the door and let's see what's in the ruins. This is amazing. We may be the first people to come down here for a hundred years. This must be the Chamber of Shrines. The senior wizards used it as a meeting room, and wizards joining the tower would pledge allegiance to one of the four orders here. I've read about it, but I never thought I'd see it. The greatest magical innovators of Gilinor once walked this room. I wish we could spend more time exploring the ruins. If I can, I'll stay down here after we've done what we came for. The old tower was made up of wizards from all over the world, with wildly different philosophies of magic. They arranged themselves into four orders dedicated to different gods, blue, green, red, and grey. The blue wizards worship Saradomin, god of goodness and order, He's the most widely worshipped god in human lands. The Blue Wizards believed magic could be used to help people and focused on non-combat spells. They invented most of the enchantment spells in the standard spellbook we use today. After the first tower was destroyed, it was the surviving Blue Wizards who rebuilt it. The new tower is still a Saradominist institution, although these days a lot of wizards only pay lip service to the religion. The Green Wizards worshipped Guthix, god of nature and balance. According to the Druids, Guthix created the world and then entered a deep sleep. Before the rise of our current civilization, the other gods went to war with one another for control of the world. After millennia of fighting, Guthix awoke and banished them, so they could no longer intervene directly. It was a follower of Guthix who discovered the rune essence, and the Green Wizards were the old tower's experts on rune crafting. Their statue depicts their founder transmuting a lump of rune essence into a stack of runes. The Red Wizards worshipped Zamorak. Most people today see Zamorak as a god of evil. But for the Red Wizards, he was a god of chaos, personal strength, and creativity. Legend has it that Zamorak was once mortal, but he stole the staff of a god called Armadil and used it to ascend into godhood. Their statue holds a staff in memory of that. The Red Wizards focused on destructive spells, especially ones involving fire. They invented most of the battle spells that made their way into today's standard spellbook. There are other gods besides Saradomin, Guthix, and Zamorak. The Grey Wizards were those who worshipped lesser-known gods, such as Armadil or the Menophyte Pantheon, or were non-religious. The Grey Wizards didn't invent many spells, but they made some of the greatest contributions to pure magical theory. Their statue's sword symbolizes a sharp mind cutting into the heart of a matter. We need to get deeper into the ruins to the source of the power beam. It looks like that rune guardian is blocking the door. Wizard, you have proved yourself worthy. 
All that remains is to determine the order to which you will belong. Are you ready to be tested? It thinks we're new wizards joining the tower. Originally, you wouldn't be able to get to this room without passing the entry tests. The first question. You are behind in your studies due to illness, and a test is coming up. Your place at the tower is safe, but if you fail, you will lose some respect. Another apprentice offers you an opportunity to cheat. The second question. An elderly wizard, the last practitioner of a unique branch of magic, dies. Her diary might contain details about her unique magic, but her will states that the diary should be destroyed on her death. The third question. A rival wizard is spreading lies about you and has made you the laughing stock of a nearby village. They believe you are of low intelligence and poor moral character, and throw vegetables at you when you visit. What do you do? The fourth question. You have become a senior wizard and are asked to take on an apprentice. The boy is talented but undisciplined and does not apply himself outside his areas of interest. What is your approach? The fifth question. A senior wizard asks you to take part in a ritual that will greatly benefit the tower. Before the ritual starts, you discover that he learned part of it from a demon. The ritual appears safe but demons are expert liars. Welcome, Green Wizard. I guess we'll need to find a way across here. Hey, what are you doing? You're what? That's a statue of Eratona the Green, who negotiated the treaties with local rulers that let the wizards transport runes from the essence mine. You can't just push her statue down. Well, no, but be careful, okay? Try not to damage the statue. chamber where the old wizards performed their most powerful rituals. It's amazing. I never imagined I'd see it in person. So do I. Most of the spells we use today were invented in this room. Wizards of all four orders cooperated for the sake of magical research. These vortices look like the one that attacked Wizard Boren. I want to find out what they are. I'll need you to attract a vortex into this circle and keep it there while I examine it.
These vortices look like the one that attacked was a... They're not ghosts. At first, I thought they might be ghosts, but they're... they're soul fragments. I've heard about putting part of yourself into your work, but the old wizards literally put part of their souls into the power beam. They must have wanted to create a very powerful magical effect. I don't know what they were trying to do, but whatever it was, it went wrong. Do you know what this is? I think this is what destroyed the first tower. I think there was an enchantment keeping the vortices here, but someone has removed it. Now, they're able to go up the beam to the new tower, and you saw the trouble they can cause. I can't tell, but it happened recently, within the last few days. It looks like we weren't the first people to come down here after all. I can replace the enchantment that was keeping the vortices here but it'll take some time. While I do it, you need to go back to the new tower and delay Cedridor's casting of his Icenic Purge. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistants and I are casting an Icenic Purge, and we must have silence in order to concentrate. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant. Please be quiet, adventurer. My assistant and I are... adventurer. The Icenic Purge is in a critical stage, and it is essential that all participants be able to concentrate. Adventurer, I must insist that you step away from that organ. Break my concentration once more and you will feel the wrath of the Grand Archmage of the Reborn Tower! is complete. Thank you, fellow wizards. 
Whatever these entities were, they could not have survived such a powerful wave of magic. Adventurer, I suggest you leave the library and find your friend, Ariane. Tell her not to worry. We have dealt with the problem without any help. It was close, but I managed to restore the enchantment. The vortices are trapped in the ruins again. Thanks for your help, adventurer. I couldn't have done this without you. Well, thanks again. I found some things in the ruins you might be interested in. They're yours if you want them. I found some things in the ruins you might be interested in. They're yours if you want them. I'm going to head back down to the ruins to study the vortices. I want to find out what happened to the old tower and who released the vortices from the ruins. Meet me down there if you want to help. <laughs> 